1-800-955-K L O S. You're planning on going to the 39th annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Well, I've always wanted to. You never been? No, I've never been. Oh, I've it's always a good time. I wanted to drive in it too. I think it'd be. Well, fun. you got to be a celebrity. Yeah. See, <laughs> who do you think you is? I guess nobody. Really? Yeah. You, you actually thought that you were going to be invited to drive I in the Grand Prix? I thought that perhaps there could oh, well, be a come chance. Come on. Are you high? Maybe a little bit from all the hairspray, the Dish Nation makeup people spray in me, my, in my hair. Maybe a little high on the L'Oreal. I was a little surprised one person took a picture of me last night on the green carpet. <laughs> they were like, Frank, Frank, over here, Frank, Frank. I was like, wow. Maybe, maybe they think I'm somebody else. Maybe yeah. they think I'm Frank Caliente. <laughs> I have his body shape now. Frank Caliente imita- uh, or Cal- Caliendo? Or Cal- Caliendo? No, the Caliente. Oh, Caliente. Is that a dance, the Caliente? Let's oh. ask Helio. He was All on right. Dancing with the Stars. Get him in here. Helio! Helio Castanemis is there in the studio with us. Look at All that! All right! Come on in here, man. Hi, have a Helio. seat. Hi, Nice to Always meet you. Always so put together. Look at How him. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, we're good. Sorry, guys, We've I'm talked to you on the phone before. That's and then, right. uh, I think no, it was. I think it's back when you were doing Dancing with the Stars when we talked to you on the phone last. Oh, boy. That, that was a long time. Very long time you ago. You were fun to watch, though. Well, thank you very much. And thanks for the vote because it helped me five, six years ago, but it did not help me last year. What were you guys when you guys didn't vote for me last year? Yeah, it was an all-star <laughs> year last year. <laughs> yeah, nobody was watching, actually. Aww, <laughs> yeah, I think we're all danced out. Are you, are you danced out or did you keep up with it? No, man. I, actually, uh, it's funny that you guys asking this question, but the end of last year, which, by the way, I, I'm still a big fan of the show. The show is fantastic. Uh, for those that uh, hate it, I'm sorry, but it, it's just <laughs> an awesome. Uh, it's it's a great exercise. I was going to say, and um, it probably puts you in one of the, the best shape of your life, right? Oh, my right? God. It was incredible. In fact, so in the end of the season, so... We, uh, my wife said, uh, okay, I would like to do some presentation. We're going to dance together for our friends and stuff like that. So we end up, I said, I can't believe I'm still dancing. Oh my God, please. I can't do this anymore. But it was so much fun again. And, uh, but now that's it. I, I, I hang up my, uh, dancing shoes. I got back my racing shoes. Now we're here for Long Beach and hopefully going to be great for sure. Yes, Helio, three time winner of the Indianapolis 500, the first foreign driver to actually achieve such a feat and making you one of the only nine drivers to date to actually ever do that. And, uh, both Hattie and I are from Indiana. Oh, wow. So growing up, it no was way. like Indianapolis 500 to, to think that one day we'd be sitting and talking to a winner. Oh, in my Indy God. A three time winner. Just ridiculous. Like crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, that that was the event. I mean, every year, I mean, I, we used to, I mean, actually get up and when they would only have it on the radio and yeah. be grilling out and listening to the race. That and, is awesome. Yeah. I mean, back when I was a little, little kid. It's still, believe it or not, it's still, but it used to be bigger, obviously. Uh, uh, but uh, again, it's the same as Long Beach here. I mean, it's over 30 years to be, to have a street course, to have uh, over 30 years of event. It's, it's just um, remarkable, you know, it's, but it's great. Indianapolis for me, it's... Uh, Oh, I love that place. I love the town. I love everything. So uh, yeah. hopefully uh, we we can do it one more time. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was a big uh, AJ Foyt fan. He's the man back huh? in the day. That's he's when still I, he's when still I was active. Up. Yeah, he's, still, he's still, active? still in it. I mean, not racing. But oh, still, yeah, no, sorry. He's yeah. still you know active. It was such with a big deal that crew. one of I can't remember what grade we were in, but it was um it was one of our field trips where we I, I grew up in, I was in a very small town, so it's about an hour drive to Indianapolis, and that was our field trip. Wow. We went there, we got, packed a lunch, and we got to, to be go on a. A lap around the track wow. in like a in like a like a shuttle bus or yep, like yep, something yep. you know. Didn't seem like really slow because the track's so big that it's like a shuttle bus around this thing. But it was still like, oh my god, we're in, on the you know the racetrack and everything. So guys, I mean, that these was, stories are awesome. Yeah, I mean, people don't great. hear this anymore, but it's just it's, it's, it's so great stuff to hear about it. It's a big deal. Yeah, m- most of the time when you get tickets, you'd be on the infield. And yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So then you'd find a place. Maybe you weren't even on the bleachers. I mean, sometimes you'd, you'd find a place between the bleachers, and all you'd see was. <laughs> I mean, you just saw like a, a, a color and and a <laughs> screaming that? sound. Like I saw the race. I think I saw a car there. <laughs> it's loud and it smells and. Uh, it's so great. as far as like you know, you growing up in in, in Brazil and to have like the, uh, I mean, at what age did you? To get behind the wheel for the first time, and start I started out uh, when I was uh, 11 years old in go karts. Yeah, people ask me when you, how do you start racing? I mean, it depends. There is many series, obviously, but uh, in IndyCar, for example, go karts are, are great for school uh, of racing because you understand the uh, um, all the uh, the rules about racing. You know how to get to braking point, turning, the simple <clears throat> and basic driving. And uh, from there on, once you, you get good, uh, once you start winning races, because 
because there was a lot of kids as well doing there. Uh, once you start you winning races and stuff like that, you're getting enjoyed about the race and uh, you move up different series. And that's the normal step uh, uh, so that you can get uh, become an IndyCar driver. Now, there, here in America, because of oval racing, you have a sprint cars uh, that you can go on the dirt and race, and, and it, which, it, which is still give you a little bit of a knowledge about racing. But it's a very different when you're going to a road course or a street course because uh, – uh, uh, it's it's more predictable in in uh, yeah it's in, not as controlled on the on streets along the exactly right? exactly yeah. it was just like a almost a two mile track uh, street course with eleven turns in it as far as like I mean having this that many turns and and, and how how many uh, laps is is the race I think we we're ninety five ninety laps I think uh, yeah. this year and uh, the short nap or is the same I don't know That's, every year they change something trying to make the race even more uh, 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 exciting but. We're talking about a place that you go uh, with your ordinary car, 35 mile an hour. You know, you don't <laughs> see much of the bumps. You go like, oh, and when you feel the bumps, imagine when we're going over 150 mile an hour. <laughs> oh, I mean, my God. It's Seriously. insane. I mean, uh, we're just standing, you know, on the other side. And plus, uh, uh, the lines that we are running, it's it's inch from the wall. You know, so uh, the margin of error, it's so small. But... That's what it's exciting right, because right. Uh, it's so cool, you know, to, to go in that direction and try to make as fast as you can. Do you always have to drive, like, w when you're out in just your regular life and you're going to go out to dinner or something with your wife or friends, do, do you always have to drive? She always complained that I drive slow. I drive it. <laughs> but she's like, you are driving like an old lady. Uh, I'm like, what? That is awesome. Really? Can you pass this guy? I'm on, serious. I mean, I'm like, relax. What, what, why do you want to go? Hey, I only this? drive fast when I'm getting paid. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, no, That's so trust good. Me. But but uh, again, when I'm late, yes. And one day I said, "Oh, you wanna you wanna go fast? All right, hold on." And then I went. She's like, "Oh, now oh you try to scare me." I'm like, "I'm not trying to scare you. You ask me to go fast. I'm going fast now." But uh, it's hilarious. Oh, I would love. I would love to experience what it feels like to go. Oh, you 150 can. You can. Miles you know, they have the two seater. And uh, I guarantee, I guarantee you guys will be able to do it, experience, which is amazing experience, by the way. And uh, you just go in the back seat, and the guys go exactly the same speed that we are going, and you. My heart's trying it. to race. Just I'm think serious. About it. it is. Uh, if you want to do it, we can make this happen. Really? Is, oh is that something that's available to people? Yeah. Well, no, not, to everyone, not to everyone. Okay. But obviously, you guys, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here, and I can make this. You can make that happen. I, for I know us? people. Oh you know, you know I, believe it or not, know. I know. I know. <laughs> But you guys got to go there. You know, obviously, uh, awesome. it would be great. Uh, it's very, very cool. Come on, Heidi. I mean, put your money Come where on. your mouth oh, is. I mean, let's go. go. When you know somebody and you actually have the opportunity, that's when it's like, oh, I was kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm not kidding, but I'm super scared. Like, I, 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 I know that, that, that adrenaline surge has got to be amazing because I've never gone even above... A hundred miles an hour really? in the car before. I don't. You've think never so. gone above a hundred. I don't think so. No. But well, uh -uh. trust me, that's a that's a good what you're saying. It's very good to people and listeners to understand. Yes, yes. When you going a hundred mile an hour or over a hundred mile an hour on, in an ordinary car, it's fast. Even for us, you know that we are professional because those cars are made to go 30, 40, 60 mile an hour on a highway. Yeah. So now our cars, when you go a hundred mile an hour, that's slow because the car is made to go 200 mile an hour. So. People had a different concept, special teenagers like, ah, oh, I want to see how, how, it, yeah. how it's cool to go that yeah. kind of speed. It, you got to understand the car, the car needs to be prepared to go that kind of speed. So when you're in the car and you're going 100 miles an hour, it feels like you slowed down for a school zone. Well, if, <laughs> you're like, you're like, the, pit lane, so uh, the yeah. pit lane for us is 60 mile an hour. So that's actually the safe zone. Wow. You know, and uh, so that's just to show that it's a very important uh, bit, uh, the, the concept, you know, and, and the difference in speed. It's, it's huge, but uh, the car is it's made to do that. So the 39th annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach featuring uh, the third round of the 2013 IZOD IndyCar Series. That starts tomorrow, right? It goes. It's tomorrow yes, all through tomorrow, Sunday. All weekend. Tomorrow's practice. Friday, uh, Saturday is qualifying. The race is Sunday. So uh, it's. Uh, and you've never been. I mean, I've been before, and it's a, it's a great event. A lot of people. I mean, as far as like the hotels down down in Long yeah. Beach, they'll they'll get uh, rooms yep. and be able to have a great view of a turn and have parties. I mean, it, there's, there's so it's many an event. so many activities it's a big and, deal. and and you know, and they always crown Miss Long Beach Grand Prix. Yep. Like the hottest yep. girls come out in their bikinis. Come on, hey, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Hey, <laughs>
It's I'm a, over the hill now, buddy. I, no, like, come on. I'm done. We just told a story about uh, three guys got kicked out of a festival for being too handsome. It happened over in Saudi Arabia, and I was going to oh, ask wow. you. It was like, have you ever been accused of being too handsome? I, I no. I. <laughs> You're like, hey, sir, can you leave because we we can't get anything done. <laughs> Listen, here. Helio, you never had trouble with the ladies. I um, I'm very fortunate. I did not. You know, um, <laughs> right. Because sometimes it's not about the look, but it's about the way you talk, you yeah. know, and the, the, the accent sometimes helps oh, a lot. For and, sure, um, yeah. And anyway, mm-hmm. there is a lot of ways to do it. So it, it, people, though, it miss uh, mistakes sometimes just to look. Where did you meet your wife? Actually, in, uh, in Colombia. I was racing there, a go-kart for a charity event. And I met her. She, uh, she's Colombian. Like, eh. Yeah, no, they, oof, they are, uh. trust me, they are tough. They are beautiful, <laughs> but they are tough. And... Um, so I ended up uh, hooking up with her, but she didn't like me, and uh, so we're two years so apart. And uh, after two years, two years, uh, I got a random like, "Hey, uh, happy new year!" I'm like, uh-huh. "Uh huh, oh, happy oh, new year." Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got something here. And, uh, Somebody, yeah, you were on her <laughs> mind. Right, it in. Uh, it's good. So and then uh, we, we in 2008, with uh, we got back together, and um, oh man, it's the best thing ever happened to me. Now we have a little girl; she's three. Mm. Best thing ever. You gonna ever, get her to race ever. I hope. No, I hope not. I mean, <laughs> she does play a lot with the with the matchbox cars, and I'm like, please, really, look at the Barbie here. Come on, <laughs> nice and safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice she's and like, safe. Uh, no, I, 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 what can I say? But uh, obviously, I will support her in whatever she wants to do. Uh, before we, before we go to break, let's. Dane's been on the phone for a while, like 20 minutes, wanting to ask oh, you a man, question. Is that guy. okay? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, D- Dane on line one has a question for Helio. Uh, hello, Dane. Good morning, sir. How are you? It's Dean here, by the way. Oh, Anyways, Dane. It, that's not here or there. Uh, my question is the, the issue of safety. Now, we lost Greg Moore and we lost Dan Weldon. That is just a shame. And Kyle Larson, as of late, was just really gnarly. Um, what's your idea on that? Is it is it up to par or do you think it could have an improvement? Oh, no, over the years, I mean, you're talking about safety. Uh, we made improvements on the racetrack. We made improvements on the cars. We made improvements uh, even in the areas, for example, the hands device that holds the uh, driver's neck, you know, or head, basically, so that uh, we don't have any kind of uh, uh, issues with uh, impact, sudden impact. So over the years, it's been uh, an amazing improvement, but uh, people forget that this is racing, you know. Uh, racing is still a dangerous sport. And the risk involved, special open wheel. When we're talking about open wheel, people uh, forget um, the only area that is actually uh, um, exposed is the head of the driver. You know, and uh, it's different than NASCAR that you have basically basically a cage there that it protects the driver. So we uh, we go. Uh, unfortunately, we try to prevent all the issues as possible. But um, you know, it uh, we're still trying to uh, improve. It's not perfect. I don't know if it's ever going to be perfect, but um, those are the things that uh, we got to keep improving. Hopefully, we don't have any more accidents. Do you find a track right now that you think is not, not completely safe? I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I know. There is places that we go. It's... Uh uh, it's, it's tough, but um, I feel that today, uh, not only from the IndyCar series, but also the tracks, they're trying to do everything they can. That uh, If I feel in a place that it's uh, too risky, I won't go. I won't do it. Thank you very much for your time. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Helio Castroneves, for coming in here and hanging out with us. 39th Annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. It's going to happen all weekend long down there. So go down. If you've never been, it's it's a great time. And uh, it'd be great if, uh, if if Heidi and I could uh, get, this, get in the back seat and make out while I'm you serious. drive around. Oh, my God. Miles an hour. <laughs> I don't want to hey, go now. Listen, uh, come, come on. Uh, trust me. It would be so much cool. If guys tell me if, it's, uh, if you guys want to go or not, because uh, there is... Uh, people fighting to get that that seat oh my god that would be great man thank you so much for coming in more than welcome anytime anytime you want to come back oh the best uh 1-800-95-5 klos we're gonna come right back we are heidi and frank oh that was just a little sample of the heidi and frank show on 95.5 klos to get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have you can do that at 955klos.com now to get the show in its entirety on demand and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day. All you have to do is go to HeidiAndFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.